There's a real shortage of pilots. Airlines need about 130,000 of them in the next 20 years. Well, Connor McShane is at a high school in Texas where they are teaching students to fly. Sounds like a good idea to me. Tell me more, Connell. Well, they're starting young, Stuart, right? That is always a good idea. And it's not as if, you know, one high school is going to make up for that kind of shortfall that you just referenced. But this is a, a unique concept here. I want to show you around rising aviation highs just outside of Dallas. They have 23 students enrolled this year in year number two. And, you know, they come in, they learn about math, they learn about science, learn about history, and they certainly learn about aviation. We met a 12th grader named Shanaz who came here to the U.S. with her family about seven years ago as refugees from Iraq. Now, she and her mom love to travel, she says. They heard about the school. She's here now, and she says she's hoping to join an industry that at last check was 92% male. I would like to inspire a lot of young girls to be a pilot as well, since I'm the only girl in here. So it would be nice to have more girls having to come over here and learn to be a pilot. Well, Shadaz and her classmates, they have access to a flight simulator right here in the school. You could work toward a private pilot certificate before you graduate. Best way to do that, by the way, hop in one of the two planes parked right outside the school, which we did with a 16-year-old pilot in training named Hamilton Grant. I remember my parents, like, walking in, and they'd be like, hey, we found this new school that you could possibly go to. And I was like, absolutely, you know, I'm totally down. Um, just because aviation has, has been such a big thing in my life. And when we were up there in the air with Hamilton, I got to tell you, he did a terrific job. A, a few steep turns, only 16 years of age, but, you know, still here telling you the story. So it, it obviously went well. He's got a bright future ahead of him. He says he actually might end up joining the military, which actually brings up one of the reasons that the experts point to for the pilot shortage to begin with. Years ago, Stuart, there were so many commercial pilots that were trained by the military, but now they say largely because of the prevalence of drone use, you don't see that as much. So maybe, just maybe, uh, this school will, you know, help out in picking up the slack. Well, that sounds a great idea. What's wrong with that? All right, Connell, thank you very much indeed, sir. <laughs>